Hey, I'm Will from Cheston. I'm Norm from Cheston. We are here at CS 2012. It is day three. It's our last day here. How are you feeling, Norm? Oh, a little tired. Just a little tired. Uh, I have a ball. I have two balls. But you have a ball in your hand. It's the Sphero. Uh, we saw this actually last year. Yeah. It was a really small booth. It was a prototype. Didn't have a chance to actually get hands on with it. They're selling them now. They're available at their website. Uh, we got to go for a test drive just a minute ago. What do you think, yes. Norm? So it's, it's a ball that moves. It's a ball. All. Yeah. Uh, so inside the ball is a robot. The robot has a gyroscope and accelerometer. And it, it's. It's essentially a robot hamster inside a tiny little hamster ball, and it'll, it, they drive around. People are controlling these with iPhones. I think that this thing is super cool. It's a cool little toy. I'm mean, better than like RC race car. Yeah. It's an RC sphere. It's it, it's it's. It, it's deceptively fun. Yeah, uh, so it works on carpet and normal floors. Yes. Uh, we've seen it go up and down the aisle, up up ramps, downstairs, the whole nine yards. Uh, and you control it using either motion controls on the iPhone, iPad, or with just a virtual thumbstick. And it connects to your devices using Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Yeah. So the range is okay, and the response time is all right too. Yeah. Like you said, you can have a joystick and change the color actually in the ball. Um, the, or the setup for it is actually pretty easy. So using the app, you put two fingers on it, and you can orient it. There's a blue light that pops up, yes. and it'll let you know uh, where the, the back is, like your tail light, and then from there, you can just move it around. Exactly. I just turned it back on. Uh, when it goes to sleep, because it has accelerometer inside, what you do is you shake it, turns back on, turns off, whatever. It's pretty novel. I, I, it's really surprisingly easy to control. I would we, say not like one-to-one -one accuracy for the control. There's a little wild, little bit of wild movement. So there's different mo modes. Yes. Uh, I turned it on to expert mode when we were racing, and I destroyed you. Really? Destroyed you. Mine was broken. Lapped you twice. Mine was broken. I destroyed you when I took yours. So broken. Lapped you twice. Uh, I found the controls, it, it was a little bit of a learning curve. Definitely easier than something like the AR drone to fly. Definitely easier than AR drone, and more response. Way, way easier than like mall helicopters. Not perfect. Once you smash into things, if you crash into walls, if you mash into the dog, if it's going to get a little bit out of orientation. You have to reset it yes. and kind of back away from the wall. Now, there uh, are other games as well. Other games as well. There, there. You can use it as a controller, actually, instead of... So there's an iPhone demo over here where you... It's, it's a, clearly a tech demo. It's not, not something that's intended to be a real product. But you can steer a spaceship by using the ball, right? You right. twist the ball. It to becomes a gyro. Around. It's just it a gyroscope. gyroscope. Yeah. You play centipede, maybe? Like some centipede type games? Exactly. Um, the other thing is there's a ton of it. API, and there are people building apps mm -hmm. to take advantage of this thing. There's yeah. an app where you can draw a line, and it'll it'll move on the line that you draw on an iPad or an iPhone. Uh, Norm, do you think you'd fashigi this thing? Absolutely. I'm going to fashigi. Why do you talk about taking this apart? Uh, I, there's nothing I've ever wanted to take apart more in my life. It's a sealed ball though. It's waterproof right now. Uh, they say that they've let people, uh, let their dogs play with it. Uh, small dogs that can't get it in their mouth and chomp down. You don't want to give this to a I Rottweiler or a Golden Retriever or something like it. this. It, it, it's shaking my hand. You look like Bowie. Amazing. You look like Bowie. It's, here, it's on sale now. It's on sale now. Limited quantities. Yes. They're making, basically making them as fast as they can. It's 130 bucks. It comes with a charger. There are some other accessories too. There's a chariot. They're going to they're gonna build a hole. You can, they're going to paint the outsides. They're going to let you print your cat onto yeah. the outside of this thing. And unlike other RC devices, it actually runs for a long time, over an hour nonstop. Yeah. Although it does take about three hours, three hours to, charge. to charge. It's an inductive charger. You put it on the base. It's just like a Sonicare toothbrush or something like that. I think this is super, super cool. I can't wait to get it. We pre-ordered one after the show last year, and they're making them as fast as Eventually, they'll be on Amazon, Best Buy, all the kind of normal retail places for cool robotic stuff. Keep on Fushigi Chan. We'll be back with more CES 2012 coverage. I'm Will. I'm Norm. Bye.